to dance, yeah. Come on, come right in. All right, so today I'm going to be shaving my face. Don't ask me why I'm doing it, all right? I'm just following YouTubers, some YouTubers' footsteps, okay? All right, so I know we've been quarantined for a couple of weeks, some people a couple of days, but I'm pretty sure you guys are going through what I'm going through right now. You can do your nails, you can go get a massage, you can go get facial. So this is DIY period. Do it yourself period. This is the time where you have to be creative, do stuff by yourself, okay? Because anybody gonna do it for you. All right, so today I'm gonna be shaving my face. I'm gonna be completely exfoliating my face. All right, I went to Walmart and I got the um, facial exfoliator, okay? And hair remover. So it's basically going to be taking out any kind of hair you have on your face as well as like you know make your face smooth and just take out any kind of like dead skin or like pores or whatever or like blackhead or whatever you have on your face so this is you know one in one million or whatever but yeah I'm gonna be using this to shave off my face you don't really need a lot of things to shave off your face I know that you know when you go on YouTube and you search how to, how to exfoliate your face you see all them fancy fancy stuff nah okay i'm gonna make it really simple for you guys so if you guys want to try it at home since you're at home anyways you can go ahead and do it so i'm gonna be using this all-in-one um, makeup remover because i have makeup on my take it off my makeup as i take off my makeup i'm gonna use this to clean my face just take off any kind of extra you know makeup that is left there and then i'm gonna use the moisturizer to moisturize my face before i start using this i don't know if i'm gonna react to So I just cleaned my makeup right now and I'm pretty sure there's still gonna be, you know, a little bit of makeup left on my face. So I'm gonna do that. So, I need my face to be moisturized before I shave it. So I'm gonna be using this to moisturize my face before I shave it. So, that. You wanna get your face really moisturized. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how you do it, like you can moisturize this part and start shaving it. But I'm gonna moisturize this part first. I'm gonna moisturize this part and, and shave it and then moisturize this part and shave it. Alright. So this is the brush. I got it from Walmart for $10. This is the blade right there.
careful so you don't freaking shave your eyebrow. I can see the hair coming out and I'm wondering like where is this hair coming from? I have no idea I had hair, like hair on my face like this. I know I have a little bit of hair on my face but not this much. See that? It's nasty. Okay. Time to shave the nose. face is red and this is actually good with um, hair on your upper lip if you have mustache or hair on your upper lip you can use this to shave it up because it's really hard to tweeze it because the hair is super thin and it's really painful when you try to tweeze it out so this is actually good for shaving out the little hair that you have you know your upper lip area as far as I'm concerned I'm done shaving my face and to be honest with you, it does feel smooth. It feels way smoother than it was before I started shaving my face. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it does feel different. And I'm going to use this makeup remover just to, just, just to clear things out a bit. Just to clear things out. See all the hair coming out. There's a bunch of hair coming out. Obviously, hair that I didn't take out. 
So I'm gonna use this to clear my face. After doing that, I have this, um, I have the pond. So this is the end of this video. I feel good. My face looks very smooth. I don't know if you guys can see my face right now. It does definitely look different um, than it did before I shaved my face. And it feels so fresh. You know when you just shave your legs and you put your hands through it. It feels so good. It feels like a baby's bum so soft and so like smooth that's how my face looks right now if you're at home quarantine and you have hair on your face you can have it on your chin upper lip on your face and you usually use shaving stick do not use shaving stick on your face I'm begging you especially if you're a female don't use shaving stick on your face get a tweezer if you have hair um, under your chin use a tweezer and just twist them it's actually fun tweezing your beard you know I'm not gonna say that but it's, it's it's satisfying so you just tweeze them out you're gonna get used to the pain it's gonna be painful the first few times but just tweeze it out tweeze it out and if it comes out tweeze it out do not use shaving stick because if you use shaving stick you're gonna have bumps on your face and that's not what you want because then if you have bumps it's gonna be hard to take the bumps away or to eliminate the bumps so just use tweezers and now for the upper lip the upper lip is harder to tweeze out I can tell you that for for a fact, it's hard to tweeze out. It's gonna be really painful, and it's actually a lot more than you have here. Because here, they kind of join together, but the ones here are a little bit separate, so you can actually, you know, pick them out one by one, one after the other, but the ones right here join together, so it's a little bit hard to tweeze them individually, because you're gonna feel like you're tweezing, you know, hair from your freaking underarm, because it's just a lot of hair. And you might want to, you know, shave it out because that's the next best option for you to do, especially now that nowhere is open. So you get this right here from Walmart. It is very nice. I just used it on my face and it's beautiful. Okay, I actually used it on my upper lip as well, and it actually just, it just, it, it, it elevated the hair, like it just threw the hair away. So you can use this for your upper lip and just put the area. You can get a moisturizer. You can use water. Just put it right there and use this to just shave it down okay it's gonna be easy and smooth i'm telling you guys you don't have to use shaving stick because if you use shaving stick you're starting a battle that you won't be able to finish if you're using shaving stick on your face okay nowhere is open no saloon is open so you can't wax if you want to wax you have to buy it on amazon and if you don't know how to wax yourself you're in trouble so get this do this here tweeze it out Anyways, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys like this down in the comment section below I'm gonna be a little bit up close. So just don't mind. Don't mind my pretty face But um, if you like this video thumbs it up Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed yet What are you waiting for? I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos that you're gonna like so please subscribe and turn that post notification So you know when I post a video, okay? All right, you guys stay safe out there and if you're at home Think of something new to do. Teach, do it yourself. When you're doing it yourself, make a video while doing it yourself. A lot of people want to see that stuff nowadays. Anyways, I'm going to see you guys next video.